Today on Huchos, I'm going to show you how to build this. This is an NFT hydroponic system. Let's do it. Now, I've explored aquaponics in my previous videos, um, but this one's a bit different. This one's hydroponics. So, um, hydroponics is the growing of uh, plants in a hydroponic solution, which is just a nutrient solution. And um, there's lots of different techniques you, techniques you can use. There's uh, DWC, deep water culture. Um, you've got RDWC, which is reticulating deep water culture. Uh, and this is a NFT, which is a nutrient film technique system. So um, they all are good for various different uses. Um, NFT systems are really good for leafy herbs and leafy greens. So today I'll just be um, installing two runs, but as you can see, um, I plan on extending the system um, so that we can grow more um, later down the track. So I've run all of the hosing that I need and it's just a matter of changing a couple of the uh, pipe fittings at the other end to extend it. Uh, so it's kind of future-proofed. So I'll show you what you need to make it. So a few of the tools you need today is a uh, drill with a hole saw, um, a level, a measuring tape, and the things we'll be um, putting together are an Aquaflow aqua water feature pump um, that has a rise of 120 centimeters, some 13 millimeter irrigation tubing, uh, some four millimeter flexible irrigation tubing, uh, a barbed T piece for the 13 millimeter tubing, um, a 10 pack of uh, 13 millimeter barbed elbow pieces because I'll probably need more in the future, um, some four millimeter barbed off offtakes for uh, converting the 13 millimeter down to the four millimeter. Um, we'll need some end caps, um, some corner pieces for the piping and um, a T-piece for the 90 millimeter piping. So we'll look at the larger stuff that we have to use now. Some of the larger stuff we'll be using today, uh, these six meter 90, 90 millimeter uh, PVC pipes. Um, I've got six 240 centimeter, 2400 millimeter uh, steel pickets. I've got three pieces of recycled timber, so I'm not sure of the actual sizes and I can't be bothered measuring them, but they're um, all the same width and I'll eventually have to measure them so that we can space out the PVC um, equally along the width. Um, yeah, so let's get started. My cross beams um, are 1800, which is almost perfect for what I need. Um, well, it is perfect for what I need because I wanted six lengths of pipe um once i extend the system so i'm going to mark um every 30 centimeters along here but i'm starting by marking um 15 or 150 mils in and then 30 30 30 30 all the way along uh and then uh, i should get uh one two three four five six pipes um when i eventually make it full size um so the way that i'm going to do this don't cringe too hard um I'm, I'm, i've uh, actually butted the two boards together and i'm going to use a hole saw to drill um each hole between the logs um, and hopefully that will give me um, some nice half circles to lay the pipes in if you don't have a um, 90 millimeter hole, hole saw at home, um, a V in the wood would do just as well. I just like the idea of a perfect semicircle.
once you've got the uh, channels cut in the uh, cross braces, we're going to lay it out so that we can get the spacing for the star pickets. Um, and then you can start driving them in. When you're driving the pickets in, you want to make sure that um, the parts you're going to attach the post to are flush with the cross support. Now, when you're setting the height of your supports, you really need to take into account the height of your reservoir. Um, so, my reservoir is this, I think it's a 220 litre drum. Um, and I won't be digging into the ground initially, so I'll need some fall from the pipes at that end into the reservoir. Um, so that the gravity feeds back from this end where the pump will be um, pumping water into the pipes. The higher off the ground, the less likely critters are to get into it. So I hate that word. Why do I use critters? Animals. This is Australia. Snakes and spiders. Goannas. Koalas, kangaroos, kookaburras. Now, some more things I didn't add to the list of things you'll probably need. An impact driver and some batten screws. Ah, oh, and drill bit. Now, if it's not perfectly even, um, don't worry. Uh, I've left enough room at the top to be able to knock the post in a little bit more um, to give it the right level. Another reason I've left, um, I've used such tall uh, star, star pickets is because uh, if in the future that you have a uh, insect or a pest problem, um, there's little caps you can get for the top of these and you can use this as the support for uh, netting so um, just a little bit of future proofing just in case <laughs> so once your pipes are in place um, it's time to drill the holes so I'm going to drill a hole uh, 150 mil in from the end and then uh, 300 mil, um, so on and so forth, down the pipe until the end of the run. There we go. So now I'm just going to go along and clean up the holes um, just with the back of some scissors uh, to make them nice and clean. So this is the barrel I'll be using for the NFT systems reservoir. Uh, I've added some hinges and cut the top of the lid uh, to make a lid. And um, the <coughs> nutrient film or well, the nutrient solution will um, run down the pipes and back into the reservoir. Now I'm gonna run the plumbing from uh, the pump, which will be at the bottom, um, along the tubing to the top, where um, I'll have the feeder hoses running into the, into the top of the grow pipes. So I've, yet, I've run the irrigation hosing up to here and um, I've run it in a loop so as the water comes in it's evenly distributed around rather than compressed against end caps um, 
So now I'll run uh, the feeder lines uh, out of this and into the top of this. And I'm going to do uh, two feeder lines per row just in case one gets uh, clogged. Um, and that will just give it some room for redundancy. So at the top, I'm just going to drill two holes um, in each pipe to uh, let the feeders come through. Now we just poke holes where in the tube where we want the, uh, the feeder lines coming out. Put in our barb. Put on our feeder line. And then in this through the hole. Cut the end so that if it's flush against the pipe, it won't stop the flow. And that's it. It's all um, tubed up and ready for the pump. So uh, let's go down to the reservoir and put the pump on. So I've hooked up the pump and I've got it running with some water. Um, and it's running at pretty much the perfect rate um, when I turned it on. So that's, that's really good. Um, I'll take you for a look up the other end and um, we'll have a look through the pipe and uh, see what the uh, running water looks like. <clears throat> so up the other end, we have the feeder hoses. Uh, they're both running at about that rate um, for each row, and there's two of them. Um, and then they run straight into there. And as you can see in this one here, it's just literally a film of water um, running underneath uh, where the plants would go. And uh, if you can imagine them sitting down just above it and their roots running into it, um, the bottom of their roots, roots is submerged and the top of their roots are in the air, which allows them a really good oxygen to uh, water ratio. Um, so yeah, we did well. So that's the NFT system complete. And I'll give you some updates on how this system goes with plants in it. I've got some seedlings on the go now for it, so it shouldn't be long before I can have a quick video update on it with plants in it. So thanks for joining us here on Hujo's. I hope you learned a thing or two and um, enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.